Hey guys, welcome to the Jamie Ray Vintage Shop After Hours. We are closed. <laughs> it's the usually sometimes Thursday live that we do, but we're doing a Tuesday because it's Christmas week. And on Thursday, we have our thrift haul because we will not be live on Christmas Eve. So this is basically the week of live streams until Thursday, and then we're taking the weekend off. <laughs> and then you won't see us again till next Tuesday. Um, but we're super excited. We're going to be doing a few things. We, of course, want to show you all the new markdowns moved to the sale collection. Some of them are actually new products. Um, I have, I'll be telling you a little bit about what I'm going to be doing with that here in the next year. And then we're going to play find all the things that Jamie and Zeb have painted in the shop. So we want to show you how we display our handmade items. Because I think sometimes when people, oh, that mirror is right there. So we actually don't have to show my pictures. So we'll show the mirror. Perfect. Anyway, sorry. Because um, some people don't realize how much hand-painted <laughs> items we actually have here. So what I'm doing is I'm going to try with my wholesale vendors, find out which ones are having sales, and I'm going to try to buy new products every week or every couple of weeks. And at the sale price. At the sale price, and then I'm going to pass that along. Because who here is tired of inflation? Oh, two hands. And the only way I can fight it and help get you guys some better deals every now and then is to shop the sales and pass them along. So that's where some of the stuff came from. We're gonna start with the hotel hook because I remember last week I told you I only had one hook, or was it two weeks ago? And it I was, was last like, week. I was like, they probably went up on price, but guess what? I the, went. These are the ones we just used in our bathroom, redo at the house. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out on Facebook I and on YouTube. I use these hooks everywhere. I use them in the bathrooms. I use them to hang up my towels. I use them to hang up my um, aprons. Your aprons in the kitchen. In the kitchen. They're, yeah, so they're everywhere all over my they're house. They're cast my, iron, super heavy duty. I use them for hand towels and the towels that we bathe in. They're really, really great. And so I was super sad because when we had one, I was like, I know when I go to buy more, they're gonna have gone up in price and I'm gonna have to raise my price on the website and be super sad, but guess what? They were on sale. So I didn't have to raise my price. I lowered my price and I bought 24 of them. Nice. Because what do you do when there's a good sale? You buy in multiples. So these, is this the right price? This is the price you're selling them at is $5.95? Yes, and they were $7.95. Okay. So they're $2 less instead of being $2 more, which is kind of what I anticipated. They're cast iron. They do not come with screws, but if you've watched our video, if you don't have black screws, just use regular screws and you should use a little Sharpie marker. And but done. pretty much most of your like drywall screws would work just fine on this. I'm dropping the sale collection. Everything that's on sale from this week and past weeks is in that collection. So the sale collection, once stuff hits the sale collection, it's usually there until it's gone because we're usually either we can't get more or we got a super good buy and then once that's gone, then we either pull it out if we can't get more at that price or it was a limited item so it's we're not getting more of it. Well, sometimes I get a sale on something and then the manufacturer no longer has it on sale. So like the next time I restock, it wouldn't be in the sale collection. Yeah. It would be like in the regular price. So these so were seven ninety five. If it's in there, all those they're... items will be there till they're gone. Yeah. So it's seven ninety five, and now it's five ninety five. Do 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 do. And it's weapon grade. So I mean, I don't know. I don't think you could rip it out of the wall. All right, I'm gonna bring these close to. Do you have to get into like a street fight? These are the refills for our JRV Beauty bath salts. Um, this is summer vacation bath salt. Regularly, this is $22.95 for this refill, but the bag is all crinkly. It looks like it had some battle damage and shipping. Actually, so absolutely. this one is going to be $11.95, and this is the re refill baggie. So they actually have amber bottles that they go in, or jars. But, but you can use them straight out yeah. of the bag. They, they, work, they smell the same out of the bag. They're 16 ounces. This is the Southern. This is my favorite scent that we have. And they smell super I'm yummy. not a bath salt kind of guy. But if I was going to be, I would do it in the southern basalt. I like summer vacation. Like summer vacation to me smells kind of like the beach, like salty air. And then the southern vacation is a very like peach citrus smell. Do we only have these two or are you doing No, we more? have 22 of oh. one and 23 of another. They're flat rate shipping. These will so... fit in a stocking. I don't know that we can get them to you by then. It's kind of no. late. It's Tuesday and Christmas is Sunday, but you know. Not by Christmas. But yeah. For Valentine's Day, guys, which oh, I know yeah. it sounds crazy because Christmas is a week, but once Christmas passes, it's literally like a month and a half to Valentine's Day. And these would be so great for Valentine's Day presents. 
So um, I would definitely stock up on them, $11.95. And let me just tell you a little bit before we talk about the laundry sign about these products. Like I'm literally selling them to you at wholesale because I'm coming up with new scents and because the packaging is a little bit damaged. But they are grain free, dairy free, soy free, free of chemicals, no artificial dyes, paraben and acetone free. So um, <laughs> it also says we haven't paid for an FDA approval or certification so we can give you cancer later, like just super clean, high quality ingredients. So these are a really good deal because even at $22.95, I thought they were a good price for what they are. Hold so. on just a sec really good salts I'm not marking them down because they're crap I'm marking them down because I want new scents and because the bags are a little someone gave us a hundred stars who gave us stars what? we got stars yeah I like stars all right the laundry wash me. dry fold this is a uh, metal embossed tin sign um, not actually old but looks pretty good it's a pretty good replica which we like so I used to keep this, if you guys have, um, have a huge one. Karen says freezing. I'm watching, let me try it on uh, 5G. It seems Are we to be freezing? Uh, no. I seem to be okay. Maybe hop out and hop back in. Yeah, it seems to be all right. Uh -huh. So these signs we used to carry, but then the inflation monster came and they went from like 1995 to 2295. So I didn't carry them anymore. But I went to my manufacturer to see what they had on sale and they were half price. So regularly these signs retail for $22.95 and um, they've been marked down to $11.95. I bet you have $12.95 on here. What? You have $12.95 Oh, here. sorry, $12.95. Don't listen to Jamie, she's telling you the wrong price. But Rob says we're skipping, I don't know. Do you wanna switch over to 5G? Let me try it, let me try and see if it'll save it. I don't know. Me. Okay, how about now? He was calling me and I had to ignore that. All right, hold on, let me share it out to also while we're at it. All right, what else do we have? We have these shirts that, were these not supposed to be pink? Oh, Sarah sent stars and she didn't get to make a comment. She said, glad they came through. Okay, thanks for the stars, Sarah. All right, I think we're back. Um, we talked about that, we talked about that. Oh, and then we talked about these signs. And the reason why I bought these signs, let me just let, let me just throw this up also in there, is because people are gonna be redecorating and organizing for the new year. And if you wanted a cute laundry room, like if you cleaned it up and you wanted to give yourself a prize, for $12.95, <laughs> you could put this cute little sign in your laundry room as a prize for the effort it took you to clean that laundry room. Yeah. I always have to have a reward when I'm cleaning something. Like when I'm done, I'm going to get this for the space. What is your loft reward for the loft redo we're currently doing? I was thinking about that. I'm like, man, we're gonna it's have gonna to not look like out. a hot mess. That's why I'm redoing the loft because it currently is disgusting. Every time I walk up there, it's like a pile of crap. So right. That's my our current project is our loft office. I love junk. These are the new version. It used to have the Jamie Ray Vintage logo on the sleeve. It now does not anymore. And then it says Jamie Ray Vintage with our little bird logo down below in small, small, tiny print. You might not even be able so to see it. So this is what logo. happened. We ordered restock, just like those Junk and Air sweatshirts. And these are supposed to be solid pink. They're Heather. And these are Heather pink. And you can't sell somebody a solid pink shirt online, but send them a Heather pink. So our manufacturer said we will reprint them. So the reprinted ones are coming. And we are marking these down because they are not the regular I don't print. know if it's the people that we're ordering them through or the people that are making the shirts for them because, you know, either way, but we've had a couple snafus, but we had, uh, we had a conversation and hopefully we'll get the right shirts, but you know, we're just gonna keep passing the savings we'll pass on the to you guys. The nice thing too is these are Bella Canvas, so they're actually even a nicer shirt than the other one. And um, we sell them, I think it's like $26.95, I believe. I can't even remember what our like retail price is for those shirts. Um, includes shipping to the 48 These are 16 states. These are $16.95, but we only have a few sizes. So we have small, because this was just a restock that we ordered and they just sent us the wrong ones. We have extra large, one of those. We have two 2Xs and one 3XL in the Heather. So they're super soft, good quality. There's nothing wrong with them. They just shipped us the wrong color. So I was like, listen, I will mark these on sale for my peeps. So they're in the sale collection and when they're gone, they're gone. And I don't think we're gonna get any more of the gray junk in there sweatshirts that we had on sale because they messed up one more time and we sold those um, over the last week and we've got a new system in place so we get the right shirts. All right, so let's talk about painted stuff. This is the new Sweet Pickens color Juniper and we stenciled it. This, uh, 
we're gonna show a bunch of hand painted stuff now. Well, let's talk about the milk paint. So, oh, yeah. all four new milk paint colors, Juniper, Gumdrop, Birdie, and Capri, they're in the sale collection. They're all 25% off. They come from sample size all the way up to a gallon. And this is Juniper, and these are actually the three items. These are not on sale, but these are just finished. These are the three items left from the Thrift Haul. This is that to we show painted. you what the color looks like. So I want to show you them. I will drop the Thrift Haul collection in case you guys now see these and say, hey, I got to have them. Because uh, they were not finished on Saturday, and we got them done yesterday on the live video and sealed them all up today. So this is Juniper with a dry brush. This is Juniper with a white wax. And this is Juniper with a clear coat over the top and just stenciled. And it, so, the lighting is not the best in here. It's pretty bright, but it's kind of yellowy. Well, it's nighttime. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. It's a, it's a, it's a smoky blue gray. A lot of people were asking us after the live stream it's last night green. if it was green. Let me go show you Farm Fresh next to this and I'll show you a green. Yeah, Farm Fresh is a little bit more green, so we'll show you kind of in contrast to that. But these three are the only ones that haven't sold, so I want to show them to you. So this is a DIY paint in Farm Fresh, and they're going to look real similar on, on the screen here. But you can see how this is darker than this, and I know this is white wax, but in, in real life here, this has got a much greener tint, and this is a much bluer tint. Almost, like in certain lights, this just looks gray, and it's amazing. The bird bath did stick to the, the bird, the bird stuck to the bird bath, Sarah was asking, was it Sarah? Oh, Jan, Jan was asking. So we added this IOD mold on here because I thought it needed a little something extra. And then this one, we wound up white waxing and I also dry brushed it because I felt like it needed some more white on it to bring out the details. Okay, so next thing that we have on sale is something that's kind of exciting for me because it's one of my favorite things. I have two things I'm gonna show you that are on sale that are spendy, as in over $100, but they were over $200. Where are these things? So I brought these from the house because oh. I, d I didn't want to take them out of the box because they're packed very nicely from the manufacturer. These are just to show you. We'll take these back to the house. So these are going back to my house, but I have four sets of these, and they were $229 for the set of four. Do we have them? We want to make sure we get them it's, right. I, I, don't, think that's, that I think order? this is the middle, yeah. Yes. Oh, that one goes on the other side. So these go, if you guys Are have you ever sure? seen my room clean and I've shared a picture. Sure? Yes, I, I promise you. This is the middle one here. No, what? Yes. Oh, oh that can't. Here you go. That looks weird, because this is like, this has to be the middle. Nope. Oh, that's the middle. I had it right. All right, there we go, hold on. Here, we no. gotta go this way. Oh. You're gonna have to move yours. Okay, so these were $229. Here, I'll move it here. Hold this. I'll move the camera. I actually don't know how much they are now because I don't have a sticker. So on we them keep these on, over our headboard, over the so top of the headboard. So you get a set of three. And yeah, these actually go. They actually, on our headboard, they're about an inch or two apart. Yeah, so there's a gap. A little bit. But they're super cute. And I'm excited to be able to offer these at a better price because they are, were on sale in a manufacturer. They are, they are printed, but they're on canvas. Yep, they've got a really great like French look. Hold on, I gotta pull up the price. And then what's the other thing? Okay, so they were two twenty four, and they're marked down to one hundred and forty four ninety five. And then we're gonna take you on a field trip to see the second item that's from our house that has been marked down with the manufacturer. So I bought a few extra. It's that mirror up front. Oh, that mirror is awesome, and we get asked about that mirror all the time. <laughs> Okay, we're going, we're going flying. Okay, this mirror here. Yes. So this was $219.95 and it's been marked down to $149.95. This is above our fireplace. Yes. So this is the mirror that we have. I don't know. I can show you a picture because I took it. Um, hold on. Let me show you. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Oh gosh, the lighting is bad. This is what it looks like at my house. And then here, you wanna give them a, 
Yeah, so they can see the top. That's the prettiest part. <laughs> You're always breaking stuff. Uh, am I breaking it? It wasn't loose, so you just so like, this forced hangs it. from up here. It's got this gorgeous metal filigree detail. It's got like chippy paint on it, and then it's got like this studded edge. I love it. It's one of my favorite pieces. So if you've ever seen my fireplace, I have that mirror above my fireplace. All right, so now we're gonna go to on the them. hunt for painted things. We're gonna start right here. This is painted. This is paint blue. Yes, and we used the. Oh gosh, chintz, rose chintz yep. um, paint inlay on that. So this is a thrifted item. It's how we have it displayed in the shop. And then I wanted to show them this. This is all in the Saturday Thrift Haul collection, if you dig. I feel like this might sell once we remove all this stuff from it. But we used the, what is this paper called? Because you named it. Um, Palais Palette. Palais Palette paper. And this is a thrifted item and we added this on here. And so this stays here. It's a little bit cluttered right now because it's Christmas, but we only have three more days and Christmas is going At least bounce. that's how Google told me that's how you say that. Palais Palette. Yeah. I, need to, I didn't realize it's, it's basically nice. chicken, male and female chicken in. Oh gosh, don't Fred. show them the dead flies. What are their flies. dead flies? How did those get there? Look, they're on the floor now. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought something happened. I thought something actually tragic had happened. No, those <laughs> your, are painted signs your face too. just now. That's so terrifying. these are painted and stenciled, both of these stencils and all the paint. You can find all the products at jamierayvintage.com. Um that was last year's release or maybe two years yeah, ago. Christmas release. Christmas stencil. Let's show it's them still over up. Here. We've got I love wall pockets, so I hang them everywhere. You'll see them all over the shop. So most of this stuff that's painted is either thrifted or was like a waste not Wednesday project. We've got these really cute corbel hand painted shelves. They are $24.95. They're in the thrift haul collection. Hand painted these. These are really pretty. They've got like um gold on them. And these are skeleton key. So this is really close to juniper, I would say. Yeah. If you looked at this next to juniper, you'd be like, yeah. There is hand painted stuff everywhere. We painted everywhere. this. This is a little rocking cow horse. cut out in milk paint. The rocking horse was thrifted. We did these in sandy blonde, which makes them look like crockery, but these they're are, not. These are bottles that we painted up. They're just vinegar bottles, nothing fancy. Oh, we've got another wall pocket staged over here. Little sign, oh, a couple candlesticks painted. Okay, I need to hang this, but I don't know where to put it. Um, so I just do you know want if you to put hang it up high? Up there, or if you want to put it over where the clock used to be that sold the Deb painted, Deb Rosser. Yeah. You want to put that there? Yes. I All will. right, we'll get this in a minute. Um, That's painted. Just, this is painted in the vintage pink. This is not so painted. Else? No, this we bought like this. Um, this we used an inlay and molds and everything. It's actually one of my favorite pieces that I've probably ever done, so I'm actually shocked. I'm shocked and offended that nobody has purchased it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe I should just put it in my house. Let's see, okay, there's another there's sign. That's what that is. All right, what else is hand painted? Um, that down there. Oh yeah, this is the sign. This is the last, my angel just sold. So this is the last one. Barnwood frame with mold, mm -hmm. 1995. And then this I'm bench, this bench is in haint blue. The oh, cottage colors. You're about to knock over it. Yes, uh, the bench is haint blue, I painted that. This is haint blue too, this display, we painted this, we painted that. I love painting I'm displays I'm coming around. We're coming around. I, I got a sign in my hand just because it's fall and it needs to go away. You had a fall, rogue fall sign in here? Yeah, I forgot about it. All right, we're going to come around the corner. Oh, I was going to mark those down. I guess I'll do that next week. Next, week. next week. So we've got some ceiling tins down here that have been painted. Looks like we've got some gray skies. And then what color was that? Is that was that Monet's garden. Monet's garden. The roses. Okay. And then, well, they can't see the... You did this one yourself. I love this because we have that tin in our house that everybody wants to buy and we don't, they don't carry it anymore. And so we made one to match. Zeb hand painted this tin. These it looks tins so good are and old. $49.95. Look at that. Look how good that is. If you guys have, are new here and you have not watched our Waste Not Wednesdays, like that's where most of this stuff gets painted and for our thrift flips, like, we're pretty, I can't we're believe it. Good. This shelf only has one painted thing. No, three painted things. So we have our chippy heart. Chippy heart and then a couple galvanized tin buckets. Oh, I didn't paint these. These just have IOD transfers. Oh, they just have transfers on them. Okay. I didn't upcycle them. Does that count? Yeah. And then here's my metal. Oh, we did these. We did these last year. I just found them. Look how cute these are. These are little Valentine's Day signs. They're 
Which Valentine's mini decoupage. frames, nine ninety five each. We had like four of them, and these two are still available. We use the Valentine's Day decoupage paper. All right, I'm gonna drop the link to the thrift haul. Because um, you didn't show them my. You get this oh, yeah. gather sign in front. Oh well, let's move the gather sign. This is pretty impressive here, actually. So it actually that. looks like copper sitting right there. Yeah, Zeb painted some, that. With some tarnish and some verdigris going. Let's get it the right direction. It actually started with gray skies and then just went for it with, uh, let's see, what was it? What was the other color that I did? I can't even remember now. I think it was vintage mint. And then I went with the, the copper patina pennies from heaven. And then I did the, uh, is it? White linen? Um, I think you did cottage colors water down on that, if I remember correctly. Yeah, all of them are cottage colors. So, oh, yeah, it's called white linen. Yeah. And this one has a little attachment so you can't lose it. Yeah, you did a good job. We actually have a lot of people that come in the shop all the time that don't know that, like, we've painted the stuff. They just buy it. They like us. All right, moving on along. We've got these two watering cans, got some IOD on them. Look how cute those are. This is the brocant. Um, transfer? No, yes. Is yeah. it? No, I don't remember. Not, no. not Brocant. What is the other one? Come it's on. It's like labels. It's all labels. But Ephemeral I don't Melange. There you go. That is the transfer. And then, um, you guys, this one is one of my favorites. This is the English Twall. Little. But that little element looks really good right down there. Yeah, super cute on that one. And then these, these are, are actual the, painted chairs. Yeah, we actually painted <laughs> these, guys. These are painted in apothecary, and then I've got salt wash and white dry brush, as well as the golden rule wax. One of my favorite things to do is add the golden rule wax. Valentine's Day is coming on strong. Those look great in here. Aren't these so cute? These are going to get a new place after Christmas. They'll get a prominent location. These are those Valentines from Waste Not Wednesday. Hopefully I'm not shaking you guys around too bad. I'm trying, trying to find to... all the painted items. So we've also got, uh, this is actually one of the cooler things we painted. My horse, that's in skeleton uh, key, Spanish white wax. Spanish horse, twenty eight ninety five. It says will be painted, but it was painted. It's already painted. Maybe that's why, because it didn't ever get updated. I think I updated the photo. I'm gonna double check though, when we're not Let's live see. anymore. Nothing, nothing else here painted by us. No, no. That's all I original. do have to tell you guys. Chippy. I, the, I only have two of these left. I'm gonna see if I can find more. Grain sack kitchen towels. These are my absolute favorite towels. They're $8.95. They've got like a texture to them. And I use them everywhere in all my bathrooms and my kitchen because they wa wash up really good and they just last forever. They don't get all gross and nasty. If they survive my house, then they're quality. Okay, so all this right. is lots of painted stuff. Yeah, this is, so buffet we just painted. This is the new, is this, this is, julep? No, No, this that's is, different. Capri. Capri. But we did a white wash. New milk paint. This is paint. This color here is on sale. Yeah, Capri is on sale. We did a white wash, white wax, dark wax, all the waxes. That clear video wax. was intense, and it got. We we ended up having to do a lot of things to make it look good, and um, it worked is out. Is the painted wreath holder height adjustable? Paula, I'm gonna have to look that up. Zeb, you keep showing them the tour of all, all right. the painted stuff, and I'm gonna look that up for you, Paula. We're gonna come down here a little bit like this. All right, painted flower bucket with some IOD on it. Painted that, I believe, last week, maybe. Not sure. Um, painted this duck. This was ceramic, like a hundred different colors. It looked very fall, and now it's kind of got like a spring look to it. These candlesticks are painted gray with a dry, uh, no, white with a gray skies dry brush over the top. This is Farm Fresh. This has one of our summer release papers on it. Let me see if I can take you over the table That's and show you that. Succulent. Yeah, the Desert Succulent uh, um, decoupage paper is on there. So, sorry, Paul had a question about this wreath holder. It is not adjustable. Not adjustable. The on cast that. iron wreath holder, the white one, is not adjustable. But if you need an adjustable one, email us at info at jamierayvintage.com because I have one that's not online. And I can send you a picture. Are you guys seeing a picture frame theme? We, uh, you know, we like to take pictures that we don't love or, or frames that don't have good subject matter, at least what we think is not good. And we farmhouse it up like crazy. <laughs> that was painted. Let's see. These are decoupage. They were just uh, canisters, uh, cardboard canisters. And they've got our 
butterflies. What is that one called? Um, anyway, it's scientific a Scientific butterfly? Scientific an butterfly. An industrial twall paper An industrial twall decoupage on there. This is actually the last piece of the lamp that we took apart. Remember the lamp salvage? It's $49.95. It's hang blue and dark black. That wax. wasn't lamp salvage. That was a glass table and the tabletop broke. Well, it was sold with the lamp salvage. Oh, okay. So this had like a glass tabletop that I wasn't going to keep anyways because it was weird. Gotcha. But this is like amazing. <laughs> like it's got really good patina and age on Let's it. Let's see. What time is it? Oh, we got a hustle. All right. Well, we can show. We already showed that corner last time. Didn't we? This sold. This was in our house for quite a while. Yeah, Someone came into the shop and bought this. We had this as our coffee table for probably a year and a half, maybe a little longer. Um, but that that trunk is uh iod'd and then i think there's just white swan on it so um, we'll, we'll probably have to call it here because yes. we'll show you more we've got next to go to week. a basketball game but next week we'll show you more of things we've painted because i think people like to see that because some people want to shop and some people want to paint if you want to buy paint we sell everything that we paint in here we sell that paint on our website at jamierevintage.com look at it look at it all Behold of the, the crafting paint. supplies like pretty much everything that we paint and all the products used come from right that there. corner up there and hundreds just, of pieces. These are just in store, you guys. We actually carry, we probably have four times that in our shipping warehouse because we ship a ton of paint. So it is great because we're really well stocked in everything. Unless our manufacturer is out, it's either on the way or here in quantities because Ivy does all of my ordering and she does a really good she job. She doesn't hold back, my bank account tells me so. <laughs> <laughs> she orders all the things. I think Ivy was here when we had a lot of shortages in 2020, uh, 2020, we just couldn't get enough product to sell. And so she likes stockpiles because it was, it She's was, amazing. it was hard to be like, oh, well, we just sold that, but it's not going to be here for a month. We are so blessed. <laughs> like we just have really great employees. It allows us to make content, to create for y'all, to go live all the time painting stuff in my dining room because I've got a really great staff here. If you have any questions about what you've seen or you saw something and you cannot find a link for it, just comment below, DM us on Facebook or email info at jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY, look at my thumb. <laughs> Your little short thumb. This is and the shorty. And shop jamierayvintage.com for all the sales, <laughs> all the DIYs, all the paint and all that stuff. We all right. We'll catch you guys, you guys later. We will see you tomorrow for Waste Not Wednesday. Don't 10 forget. 10 a.m. Mountain time. 10 a.m. Mountain time.